right here in Detroit. This is one of the largest urban solar arrays in the region. Welcome to O'Shea Solar Park. Our friends at DTE Energy tell us about O'Shea Solar Park, which you may have seen driving on I-96 near Greenfield Road. So this is the O'Shea Solar Array. It's a two megawatt solar array in the city of Detroit. It came online in 2017 and it's one of our largest urban arrays. As you can see, there are rows and rows of solar panels. This facility has over 7,000 panels, which can power about 450 homes. Of course, we need to know how solar panels work, especially with our constantly changing Michigan weather. A lot of people ask about solar in Michigan because it's not always sunny here, but these panels work year round, whether it's winter or summer. Um, they're most effe efficient in direct sunlight, but they work even on cloudy days or when it's not hot out. They're actually more efficient in the cooler weather. You may be surprised to hear those cooler days can be more beneficial. Well, there's a reason for that. The way solar works is there's photovoltaic cells in each one of these panels. They're made up of a bunch of photovoltaic cells. And when the sunlight enters those cells, it create, the heat creates a current of electricity. And in the middle of summer, it gets really hot. So it just operates a little bit more efficiently if it's not as hot. Solar panels are designed to be out in the elements. But how are the panels impacted when it's raining or snowing? The rain doesn't, the snow can cover. If we get a big snow, it'll cover the panels, but you'll see they don't stay covered for long. So it's not like when we have snow on the ground all winter. Um, because of the tilt and because that, um, when they're active, they're creating heat, the so snow often melts off quickly and they get back to work. Whether the forecast calls for rain or shine, solar parks are helping power communities. O'Shea Solar is one of 33 operating solar parks that DTE has in the state of Michigan. Currently, our solar arrays can power 35,000 homes, and by 2025, we expect to be able to power 1 million homes from renewable energy. Big plans are in store for Michigan's clean energy future. And so DTE has a net zero carbon emissions goal by 2050, which is important to curb the effects of climate change. And renewable energy is a key component of our progress toward that net zero carbon emissions goal. Solar and wind energy are zero carbon, and um, there are two ways to get to net zero carbon. Generate carbon-free electricity or offset the carbon we use um, through bio sequestration or other man means. So this is a really important component of our aspiration of getting to net zero carbon. O'Shea Solar Park is turning sunlight into energy, one solar panel at a time. I'm meteorologist Kylie Miller.